going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Oh, another day down guys in the old quarantine. Personal space, six feet away, ten feet away, a thousand feet away. World that we live in. Well, today's topic is something that's going to be controversial, I'm sure. Because anytime I post anything about this topic on my Facebook page, it gets replies from a couple different people at least. Or normally, I don't get any replies on anything. So, today I posted, I, I, I made a meme, uh... I don't do a lot of meme stuff, but today I, I made a meme, and I'll put a picture right here. There you go. I made that today. I think it's funny. And I also think it's uh, a travesty and a testament to the Christian God, because facts are facts. Fact is, he's a ruthless, angry, grudge, holding, pissy little prick. That's what he is. If you want to believe in the sort of stuff. That's what he actually is. When things don't go his way, he gets pissed off. You see it in the Bible time and time again. I can't, I can't quote scriptures. I can just Google stuff and find things. I'm not a scripture, lecturing, know-it-all person. Never claim to be. Anything I know, I Google. Anything I know, I go on different forums and different things, and I look and I research and I find out to the, the best that I can. A boy living in the Bible Belt is just a big pile of S-H-I-T. It really is. Not only that, but America in general, we are more of an uh, we are more of a uh, religious nation than anyone else, and uh, it's really difficult uh, if you're a uh, agnostic, or if you're atheist, or if you're any other religion out there that doesn't conform to normalism here, which is more your Christian views. Man, just a, it is horrible. <laughs> the most hard-headed, brainwashed bunch of people I've ever seen in my life have religion attached to their name. And I don't mean to be rude by that, but it's, it's it's fact. It's just the way it is. Man. You know, you look online, I go on and I scroll through all, all my Facebook and I go to the couple of Facebook groups that I go to and every other freaking thing is amen, praise God, thank you Jesus, we're praying, pray, 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 pray. Honestly, I've contemplated completely dropping Facebook just because of that, because it's so annoying. And uh, you can't really speak your mind on the groups that I'm on because they don't allow religious talk or political talk. But for me, uh, when you say I'm praying for you or prayers or amen, I thank you God, I thank you Jesus, to me that's religious talk. That None of that should be allowed on those groups, my opinion. None of those words. At the top of their group page, they ought to have a list of words that are not allowed, a list of topics that are not allowed, and that should be strict, and no one should have to hear, Oh, I lost my dog. Well, I'll pray for you. We're praying. God bless him. Oh, the coronavirus. is. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for the coronavirus. Your God, we're going to pretend like he's real. Your God created the coronavirus because your God allowed someone else to be born who allowed that virus to be made, to come to fruition. Your God let that 
happen. Your God knows the beginning and end of time and every person in it. Uh, from now, from the beginning of time until the end of time, your God knows these things, supposedly. So your God allows these things, and there's no switching and manipulating the words around for you to even change my mind. You're not going to do it. That's the thing. When you have a hard-headed Christian who knows who's set in their way, and you have a hard-headed agnostic or atheist or a Buddhist or Muslim or whatever, when they're set in their ways, you're not going to change them people. The only people you're going to change and get them to think a little bit, for the most part, are those that are still kind of in between and unsure of stuff and easily manipulated. When you're done and you're set and you're done and you're set, all you're going to get is arguments or debates, heated debates, however it can go. You're only going to get, you know, so much out of those people. And I'm just, I'm so fed up. I'm fed up with all of it. All of the. Man, I just want to cuss. <laughs> and if you know me, I don't really cuss. So it's really frustrating. It frustrates the living heck out of me. I just can't stand it. I can't take it no more. I'm tired of people. If you want to believe in a God, in your religion, whatever it may be, one of the 3,000 plus gods out there in religions, whatever you want to believe, great. Believe it for yourself, not for everyone else. Okay? What you need to understand is nothing is factual that you're talking about. Nothing. It's all based on hearsay, on literature, on personal experiences that you're mistaking for your God stepping in. It's personal experiences that doesn't count unless you have something that you can literally show people, hey, this is my God. Look. Watch. He's going to turn this water to wine. He's going to make this blind man see. Go ahead, show. Then you have proof. Okay, then there's actual proof. Until then, it is nothing but your imagination and the fact that you have been spoon-fed this garbage from birth. From birth, when you're in the United States of America, when you come out, more than likely you're going to have parents that at least believe in a God. They might not go to church and they might not preach it and they might not pray all the time and do this and that, but they're going to have like a cross on the wall or they're going to have a picture of Jesus hanging up on, in their house somewhere. Okay? When you're born, you're going to be going down the road and you're going to see billboard signs that have hallelujah, praise, thank you, Jesus, amen. You're going to see uh, church signs that have these things on it. You're going to say, welcome to our church and come praise Jesus, the one and only, amen, you know. You're spoon-fed this stuff from birth. Yet, you can't get that through anyone's head. You literally cannot make anyone understand that. It blows my mind. Your religion is based upon where you are born. Okay? Your Christian God is no more important than someone who worships a cow in another country. You realize that, right? You have to realize that. And do you also realize that Christianity is not the first religion? There were many before it and there have been many after it. Do you know that your Christian Bible also borrows stories from other religions that came before it? Do you realize that? Research. I can't spew the stuff off the top of my head because I look and I find things and I see it and I forget it, but I remember the fact that I've seen it. Your religion is not as real as you think. 
and the fact that you have grown adults <laughs> running around spewing this bull just blows my mind. It literally blows my friggin' mind out. Listen, I know that this is not typical and normal of a Mikeyson video. I try to keep them decent and upbeat, and sometimes I do have discussions, uh, but for the most part, I try to keep them on track of what you normally would see. But man, I just don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. It's like you get you're at a loss for words almost. You're just, you know. And again, let me get back on track for a second. If you want where I was with the kids being born into it and all this stuff, if you want to believe in it as an adult, that's great. But make it known to your child that you believe it because that's your belief and you have faith that it's real. Now, there's no actual proof, little Tammy and Sally. But it's what mom and dad choose to believe. Now, you, Timmy and Sally, can go out and explore and believe in what you find to be real, whether that's a god or not. That's your choice, little Timmy and Sally. Now, if that's the way that religion worked, great. That's fantastic. But you had people raising their kids from birth to follow their religion, to follow blindly like idiot. Ignorant, stupid, brainwashed sheep into the same path that you are in and that millions of other people have fallen into. If you want to praise your God for the good, by God, no pun intended, you better praise him for the bad. And if you're all for it, if you think that that's great, if you think, well, we deserve it, it doesn't matter. It's his plan. He's probably sick of this. He's probably sick of that. So screw it all. Let's start over. If you think that, you're out of your dang mind. Literally out of your mind. You need medication. Go to a doctor. Tell him what's up. The whole world doesn't have to suffer because of what some people are doing. Okay? And do you know that these sins are nine times out of ten just common sense? You don't need a book to tell you these things. And the one thing that a lot of religions, and especially Christians, like to bring up is homosexuality. You had a god knock up an already married woman, and that's adultery. So why do you want to follow that God? You have a God that's killed people from the beginning of time until the end of time. Why do you want to follow that God? Your God is ruthless and evil, and you choose to, to not follow those parts of the Bible. All you choose to follow is, do unto others as they do unto you, or, or something as, you, as you'd want them to do unto you. Whatever the, whatever the stupid verse is. You don't look at all the bad that happened, that all the weird stuff that happened. Sacrificing. If you have a God that wants you to sacrifice a living human being or an animal, you're effed up, and so is your God. You don't like it? Don't care. I don't like your stupid gods. <laughs> Let little Timmy and little Sally choose for themselves. Quit brainwashing people with your ignorant, stupid, barbaric, ignorant religion. I don't care who I piss off. I don't care. I'm alone in this world anyway. We all are at the end of the day. I don't care. What I care about are people being people and loving people and being good to people based on how that person is as a person not based on who they believe in or what they believe in or what gender of person that they choose to sleep with 
That's none of your business. These things are none of your business. If there was a God, that would allow these things to happen and you're serving that God I got serious doubts about you Whew. boy it's difficult difficult living in these times You know, most of your prison and jail population is filled with people that are religious. Well, that's on them. You're right, that is on them. Okay, still. Isn't that weird? Give me just a minute. I'm going to find something. Uh because I have two sisters that I have on my friends list, but I don't follow them because all they post is religious horse crap. Well, let me go in here. My beautiful, wonderful sister Tammy that I love to death. Actually, I mean, I love her to death. She's a great person. Well, she posted this stupid, I don't know if it's a meme, but whatever. Posted this a couple days ago. The atheist who says, why worship a god that I cannot see, is now hiding in their home from a virus they cannot see. Well, the virus can be confirmed through science. Your god cannot. There. I answered that for you. And the people, and the religious folk that post stuff like that are absolutely ignorant they're just stupid to it they don't understand the difference between real and not real faith versus fact okay faith is just basically you having the hopes and dreams that something is going to turn out a certain way at a certain time and go according to your plan according to what I mean, you can look up what is faith. You can look at the dictionary term, faith. I'll type it in. Faith, complete trust or confidence in someone or something. A strong belief in God or the doctrines of a religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. A, a strong belief in God or in the doctrines of a religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. I'll be dadgum, that's what faith is. No proof. No proof. When you look at facts, you cannot look at faith. You cannot look at personal experience and, and your interpretations of how you took it. If you lose your keys and you go, please God, let me find my keys. And five seconds later, you look down and oh, your keys are on your desk. God did not do that. <laughs> you did that by simply looking down at your desk and finding your dang keys. You're blind. You're sheep. You're blind. You're brainwashed. That's the three words that come to mind whenever I think of anyone who's religious. That's it. You've let someone else dictate how you think. And guess what? That was your parents, most likely. And then that was their parents, most likely. And so on and so forth.
People want to talk about needing God back in school. Oh, heck no. You don't need no God in school. You don't need religion in school. You need paddlings in school. You need adults that act like adults in school. And you need parents that take care of those kids when they get home. And they need to act like adults. And they need to punish the kids. And they need to raise the kids with morals and values and behavior. It doesn't take a God to do those things. You need to wake up. You need to get out of your fairy tale land and quit putting everything on your invisible sky god. I'm just tired of it, man. I'm tired of it. I'm sick of hearing it. We don't see air, but we breathe it, so we know it's fact. Not only that, they do tests. They can tell what air is. They know what it's made up of. Where's your argument? It's called science. You don't believe in science? You need to get rid of this. Need to get rid of your medicines. Don't don't rely on them because they were created by scientists, doctors. Don't believe in science. You don't believe in facts. Don't be watching TV. Turn off that Netflix. It's all science. It's not well maybe's. I don't know. I don't know how it's done. No. Someone made these things. There's proof of these things. The stars, the moon, sky. We have no answers. There are no definitive, scientific, real answers for that. And even scientists that like to say that they know exactly how all that's made and came about. I'm not even 100% on board with that. Because there's only so much we know as human beings. There's only so much. <sighs> I'm open for discussion to an extent. You're not going to change my mind, but you can discuss. Try to make your comments. Uh, respectful and decent. If I need to, I'll delete them. Whether it's on Facebook or on YouTube, I don't care. Wake up, America. That's my rant. That's my problems. That's what I'm tired of hearing. If I could pack up and move somewhere where there was less emphasis on religion and more emphasis on just being good people and facts and just shutting the heck up and going on about your day if I could move to a country that 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 practices those things I would love to move there and get out of this crap hole god first stupid nation that I guess I'm in I love everybody I don't mean any disrespect, but at the same time, I feel disrespected whenever I get attacked, uh, especially those uh, for sure high and mighty Christians that, well, I'll pray for you. Well, I'm still going to pray for you. Well, that's just on you. You're lost. You'll see in the end. You'll see. That makes me so nauseous, I, I literally want to vomit out my guts. I love you guys, and I'm sorry to get 
this frustration out, but I need to. Leave your thoughts and opinions. Be open-minded. Think for yourself. Quit following everyone else. Guys, be safe out there. Practice social distancing. Stay active. And don't forget, get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. Even when you're slightly frustrated, and it's not even because you're under house arrest. <sighs> we'll see y'all later. Deuces. Why did I do that?